my name is Cynthia Apodaca, and I have a very special guest today. She's a renowned clinical and holistic nutritionist, and her name is Krista Arecchio. Thank you, Cynthia. Krista is here today to talk about ways to prevent and overcome and stay free of breast cancer. We have partnered with the American Cancer Society, and this month we are going to be giving 5% of all proceeds back to the American Cancer Society. If you haven't tried Tiva Pine, it's a great time to try it. And if you have, then it would be a great way to support a good cause. So we are also prize providers for Krista. We will be giving away three cases of Tiva Kind to her viewers. And if you have not heard of Krista, you have to go to her page. Check her out at The Whole Journey on Instagram. A little bit about how I found Krista. Um, I followed her for years before I even got diagnosed with cancer. I, I found you on YouTube. After that, I got diagnosed and I went through, you know, the process, but I um, decided to reach out to you and I said, hey, you know, this is what I'm going through. And you were so gracious and just mm -hmm. helped me, you know, you told me wait till after I was done with chemo and then I'm gonna help you get rid of all of the gunk that you have gotten from chemo. And I really do have to thank you for that because I feel like my body didn't go through all the trauma that a lot of people do go through with chemo because I was able to just get rid of it right away. So thank you for right. that. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah, thank you for being open and I'm glad we're spreading that message now. And I hope there are a lot of women watching and then knowing if they don't feel so great that you, the body wants to heal and you can rejuvenate just like we did. We also rejuvenated your microbiome, you yes. know, the, the, the bacterial world within your body, which is so important. It changes the whole trajectory of the rest of your existence. I mean, look at you, you're beautiful, shining, healthy, and, and a wonderful example of what post-cancer life can be. Yes. It's not a death sentence. So Krista, as a clinical and holistic nutritionist for 15 years, why do you think breast cancer is proliferating and what kind of power do we have to prevent it, overcome it, and make sure it doesn't come back? So our food supply has changed more in the last 20 years than it has in the previous 150 years before that. We have more environmental toxins in our air, in our water than we've ever had before. So these, all these things kind of stack up, but then there's a genetic component, which I'd love to talk about because we now know how to clean up our genes. We now know the field of epigenetics, which is the on off switches of genetic expression. So just because your mother had breast cancer, your grandmother had breast cancer, doesn't mean you have to get breast cancer. It's diet, it's lifestyle, it's emotion, and then you've got the environmental and genetic factors. So let's discuss, you have nine solutions that really helps the body to yeah. prevent it. Cancer can't, can't thrive in a balanced state. It can thrive in an acidic state. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the foods that we eat are acidic or they're acid forming once we consume them. But basically we're looking here for the purposes of cancer and cellular health, we're looking at pH as a marker for the acid alkaline balance of the body. I want you to test the pH of your urine and saliva. You can get the strips on Amazon. You could do this at home yourself because then we can manipulate through the foods that we eat, start to shift the diet to more alkaline forming foods, neutralize acidic poisons so the body Body doesn't have to do it anymore. The turmeric golden milk, which you had me do, was amazing because it tasted good to me and I knew that it was just help healing my body and that yeah. in itself was helpful. And that brings me to point number two, when you're trying to prevent cancer, you're trying to recover from cancer, is to lower your inflammation set point. And that's why I had you drinking golden milk because Basically, you have to lower the inflammation set point of the whole body. Inflammation is the body's natural response to injury and we need it. But what's happened, usually by the time you're diagnosed with cancer, your inflammation set point has been really high for many years and we don't realize it. Lowering the inflammation set point of your body is gonna be huge for whole body health. You know, and you're diagnosed with cancer, you're going through treatment, it's so hard to get out of fight or flight and manage the anxiety and the fear and the, the depression and just the uncertainty around the future. And lowering that inflammation set point is gonna go a long way to help you stop 
producing those stress hormones. So you've got to take the fuel off the fire. Sugar is pro-inflammatory and then you, like you sweeten here with stevia and monk fruit, you're going to swap out so that way you still get the sweet taste, but you're not getting the negative interaction in, in cellular health from the sugar. Understanding and increasing antioxidants. Well, that's one thing what we do love about Tubacine is that we do have, there's 300 milligrams of antioxidants in the one bottle and it is, fresh, yeah, it's fresh fruit. Anybody that doesn't know it, it's like this vessel is actually, it stores the tea. It's fresh concentrated fruit tea. It's packed with nitrogen. So when you open it, you fresh okay. fruit tea. So you're getting all the antioxidants that you would get just like if you brewed it on the stove. Um, when you go into the grocery store, any other one that's on the shelf that's already brewed, you're not getting any antioxidants in. Right, you don't know how long it's been sitting there. And so right. this is you know, just a way to get fresh antioxidants. When we're talking about antioxidants and inflammation, this everything we're talking about affects everything, the cells, the liver, the GI tract, right? Because you can't separate the whole body health. But when we're looking at antioxidants, there's two types of antioxidants. You have direct antioxidants and you have indirect antioxidants. Direct antioxidants, what they do is they will basically extinguish one free radical or poison, so to speak, on a one-for-one -one basis. And so when we're talking about direct antioxidants, which we absolutely need in our body, but it's important to take the direct antioxidants and mix them with the indirect antioxidants, which then stimulate the liver's ability to produce its own antioxidants for hours after consumption. We're looking for the heavy hitters. So we're looking for, we talked about turmeric and golden milk, cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon. Ground cloves are gonna be perfect and they also have antifungal and antibacterial properties. A lot of the roots of cancer can be fungal. Um, acai, which I think you, I think I'm drinking that right now. Hey, you pomegranate, are. <laughs> pomegranate acai is going to be really, really important. The Brazilian um, Amazonian fruit. Combining foods in a really smart way is, is going to be helpful. And again, we have a whole show on our, um, on the wholejourney.com about reducing inflammation with impact.